Do you think you're going to be a millionaire in your lifetime? Yeah, I have to, bro. Or else my life has no purpose. Really? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. No, no. Um, I do believe that. Yeah, I've all, it's been a goal of mine since like since I was like 18. Yeah. Before that, I didn't really have that goal. Like before actually um, leaving my nine to five to like pursue this content creation full time. You know, right. before I was like, I was all right with just like being a manager or a supervisor somewhere and just like kind of living my life, having a family or whatever, you know. But then like a friend of ours, Cliff, like he opened my fucking eyes to like this whole new world that I was like, holy shit, is this really possible? And then he showed me it was possible. And I was like, oh, my God, I can never think I can never think like I used to think ever again. Yeah. And that just like made me want to pursue like, you know, this shit and be able to be financially independent and financially free. And I didn't have that mindset before. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, also just to mention that in what we do, money can fly out the window so quickly because in content creation, sure, you can keep it cheap, but if you want to do something extravagant, bro, you could spend tens of thousands, if not like hundreds of thousands of dollars very easily. Yeah, exactly. I mean, just flying out and like getting a place to stay is already thousands of dollars. You yeah. Know? And then plus like the activities, the food, that shit adds mm-hmm. up, bro. The equipment, whatever you're going to end up doing, whether like look at Mr. Beast, for example, he gets a lot of sponsors for his videos. But if he didn't and I mean, even if he gets sponsors, I'm sure he still spends a lot of money on it, whether it's getting a lot of props or getting buying people cars or just doing challenges where it's like, oh, you got to break through 10,000 cardboards. You got to buy all those cardboard boxes. It's a lot of money. 10,000 cardboards. Yeah you know oh yeah that firework one that he did too i was like bro you must have spent a lot of money on that firework yeah honestly bro like if i was because like my goal right now is to grow a youtube channel enough so i can like not have to worry about shit else and just be able to like travel around and that's literally my goal is to be able to pay for these expenses you know like fly fly first class if i really want to you know get a nice ass airbnb and just like bro even like fly friends out you know to like do something to like do a certain activity i think that would be so fucking cool like rent a fucking cabin in colorado and just all of us go snowboarding and and like film that whole shit create an epic ass vlog yeah like that to me right there is fucking living bro like that's what i want to do and it's like Having money is cool, but being able to use your money to help your friends and like share that experience with your friends yeah. is so much better, bro. Because I mean, even the content is going to be so much better, you know, yeah. just by having friends yeah. around because you're like you're more likely to, you know, to catch your friend doing something or saying something funny. And like if it wasn't for your friend being there, that wouldn't have, that wouldn't have happened, no matter if you do yeah. have a cabin and all that shit or all the shit that you you want, like the material stuff. Yeah, a hundred percent. I think. I mean, one day I would love to like even like have like a studio where like a bunch of creative individuals can like work from and be able to you know just put out content like left and right, bro. Have a bunch of editors, have like a bunch of creative writers and producers, and and just like get shit done. And like I mean, with the yeah. earnings from those from, from from like content that can pay for those people's work, you know? Right. I mean, yeah, the editing portion of it is already super time consuming and it's expensive too if you're paying somebody. Yeah. But if you can get that taken care of, you have so much more time to do what you need to do to move to create more content, you know? Yeah. You'll be able to scale. Yeah. You'll be able to do like like cause right now I wa- I really want to do like I want to post three times a week, like on YouTube, but I have to like really, really be dedicated and like fully focused for that, you know? And I feel like if I had editors and like helpers, it would be much easier for me to do that. I I could probably do it every single day. 
even like writers too that's such an important thing like have people sit down with you and just think of concepts you think of like 20 concepts you're like cool yeah. i'm good for the next two weeks you know yeah or, or producers like you know getting like locations getting uh you know things mm-hmm. booked like stuff like that would be like such a such a uh, like a because it's time consuming doing all that mm-hmm. but yeah man that's the goal and i feel like one day if i you know continue with this shit i could definitely reach millionaire status it yeah. sucks that i'm not a millionaire right now bro because i've been doing this shit for like 10 years now and still haven't gotten to that level but hey man you can't really control the fucking outcome you know everybody has their own time like and it's funny because anybody that you really talk to that's been doing it and they're making a lot of money it's always like no growth no growth explode yeah you know yeah so you already got the content you have a bunch of content that you already created so the good thing is is if your channel starts exploding right now people are going to have a lot of things that they can go back to and watch right yeah exactly and i feel like that's the key right there too because like just having one video go viral like and having nothing else on your channel isn't gonna do shit yep you know but if you do have a bunch of content that is similar to what what went viral then I think it can really make a difference. Like people are like yeah. people can be hooked right after that, you know, because they watch yeah. the rest of your shit. A hundred percent. Do you think you're gonna be a millionaire in your lifetime? Undoubtedly. Like in the next few years, like I would say in the next three years, if that. How so? What's gonna be your number one income? Content creation, my own content. So AdSense, you're saying? See that, that that's the one thing I'm that's the one thing I'm a little bit iffy about. Like AdSense is awesome, and sure, I would love to be uh, getting a lot of money from AdSense, but I don't want to be a slave to ads, you know? Because you know me, like my content is very edgy, and I could create some shit where people just see it as offensive, and they're like, "Oh, cancel that guy." So I don't want to rely on ads per se, especially because lately a lot of my videos, uh, especially on Facebook, have been getting demonetized really? because of yeah, because of the the sensitivity of the content. Mm-hmm. So it's like I'd rather create that fan base and then bring them over into um, things like um, Patreon. Patreon, exactly. Yeah. So like paid so, content exactly paid content and even because i i love creating comedy but at the same time i love teaching because when i teach i get better so i for sure am going to start releasing more content that's me teaching about filmmaking and teaching oh how did i get this or how did i get that shot how did i create this look or how what inspired me to write this type of video and how I put my ideas together and what are some of the the hidden keys of comedy and how to time everything correctly you know because we've been doing comedy for a while so I mean we might not be big like that but regardless we know what we're doing because a lot of people especially people in the industry people that are way bigger than us they watch our stuff and they're like damn that shit's clean like how did you get that or wow that's funny like what made you get to that that point right there you know so why don't you start doing that now i well i am i am on my you're recording the process i'm not recording the process i'm just gonna basically grab the video that i already have and break it down and then kind of show like things that i've been the things that i use i'll make like a little diagram of like i place the light here i place the light here and a light here you know things like that yeah and I mean, with time, I'm only going to get better at it because, I mean, for sure, ideally, I would want to be able to record behind the scenes and kind of show the whole process. But you know how it is, bro. We have so many fucking hats when it comes to our own content creation that when I'm creating a skit, I'm producer, director, actor, editor, DP, and the gaffer, the key grip, everything. So it's like you got so many things to think about that the last thing in your mind is like BTS, you know? Right. But I feel like Which it's I mean, important for a person to know all that before be- even becoming a director. Because a lot of people just want to, you know, be in a director's chair without actually knowing the amount of work or how it is, how it is to, to get something done. Right. You know? 
Like, I think it's important for you to know how to do the job before you can ask someone else to. Yeah, I think the best directors have basic knowledge of every department that they work in. That's why I did a little bit of animation. I absolutely suck at it, but now I know how fucking hard that shit is. Wait, you did animation? Yeah, I I took a CGI course in college. Oh, really? Yeah, hard as hell. One of the hardest classes I've ever taken, like, when it comes to computers. What software did you use? Um, Maya? Yes, Maya. Yeah. I remember they had that shit in my high school. It was like a magnet program. Super dope, bro. I, I absolutely loved it. But to create something from scratch and to then animate it. Oh, my goodness. One thing that did help me, though, like for our final projects is that we had to kind of create like a, a 30 second little short of our scene. So I already knew where I wanted to place my lighting. I knew where I wanted to place my camera, the focal length, you know, the f-stops and all that stuff. So that helped me. But I didn't really have any knowledge of what any animation really was. Right. 